Hi, I'm David Zager, and I want to show you an experiment we've been working on making Helm charts available as services via the service catalog. So you can see here I'm looking at the Origin web console. There's a list of services here, um, primarily the APBs that are being served via the automation broker. So I want to see if I can make the automation broker point to a Helm repository and list those Helm charts as services. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the service broker's config map. And I'm going to add a new registry. of type helm. So you can see the type here is helm. We're calling the name stable because the URL you see here is the repo URL for the stable helm charts. And we're using this helm bundle base image that I've modified for these uh, helm charts. So now that the broker config map has been edited, we also need to edit the deployment config. The reason we're doing this is because this is experimental, and so we have a, uh, an image I've been using to test this. So if we look at the image that we're using for the broker, and instead of pointing to the Ansible Playbook Bundle Org, we're going to point at my image, and then I'll watch, make sure that uh, the new broker comes up. So we should have our etcd pod and the broker's pod. So we should be ready to go. So if I refresh the service catalog, they don't immediately show up, so I need to tell the service catalog to relist. So I'm going to OC edit um, the cluster service brokers and the Ansible service broker, I'm going to bump the relist requests. So this is going to force the service catalog to re-get the catalog from the Ansible service broker and hopefully our Helm charts are in there. So you can start to see them show up. Uh, it takes a little while for all the plans to be loaded so we'll keep looking. You may notice I'm picking the Redis image. Uh, the reason for this is that there are two primary issues that we've run into uh, with the stable repo and deploying those Helm charts into OpenShift. Uh, the first one is uh, really an image issue where the image is expecting to run as the root user, which you can't do in OpenShift. And some of the Helm charts, um, if they use a security context, uh, you have to specifically disable it, and Redis allows you to do that. So that's why we choose it. So you can see our Redis and the default plan has been added. So I'm going to create a new project for this. You can see our chart repository URL has been loaded, um, and you can't, you can't change it. Um, all the versions of this chart are available. And you can see we have a release name and the contents of the values file. So in this case, the value that I'm specifically interested in is the security context. I'm going to set it to false. I'm going to go ahead and provision it in the Redis project. So that went well. Wait for the Redis pod to come up. It's available. And we can deprovision this just as any other service. So 
Let's look again at the config map. Um, we basically, we just added a, a Helm registry adapter that can read Helm charts and make them available as services. Thank you.